What's going on guys? So today we are in Sai Ciro, LA and I'm introducing today our newest set, the newest set that I decided to build to connect with the Mini Mart, which is like a Brooklyn style bodega. This here kind of, you know, I wanted to give creatives more, you know, more to work with. Like you have a, a mini mart, but what else can you add to connect with the mini mart? And now you have an old outside set that just kind of like you're like in, in New York, like Brooklyn vibes type of thing. So I really want to just kind of bring you guys in, show you guys how we kind of pre-lit this up. And we're not really talk too much about lighting. If you guys want that, then just leave a comment below. We can make another video on it. But today really want to show you guys, you know, the value of it. And of course, everything kind of pre-lit to showcase how good it can look. Of course, it could look better, but right now we kind of just did it quick just to kind of get you guys uh, an aesthetic look of some sort. So let's get started with this side over here. We got the pay phone, we got a bench, we got some, some milk crates. We wanted to just add like a certain style to this that I feel like it would have just made it, you know, just add more. Like you can always sit there, you can grab the bench, bring it to the front, create some depth really just do a lot with it um i feel like this the whole posters the graffiti was just gonna add a certain look to it my boy jose designed this whole thing right here from graffiti to um the to the posters the cool thing is we also have a vending machine which i think it would have added a lot more to the set so the vending machine is pretty cool any props can obviously make it that much better so this whole area you can kind of consider it like a set you're outside the bodega and you come outside you know how you normally go to Brooklyn, sometimes there's these type of things outside of it. I feel like just kind of connecting everything, just kind of make it blend. So there's this section here that you can technically use as its own set if you wanted to. Um, so now let's go on to the next set. And now this next one here is the new stand. This one here was one of my favorite ones just because again, when I wanted to build this, I kind of wanted to add the new stand to it. It just, I don't know, it just kind of gives me like that old school style, you know? The good thing about this is you know, not only can you shoot the outside, you can also do a storyline, you can do dialogue, you can go behind. So let me show you real quick. So you can legit just step in here and uh, just create some dialogue, make it funny. This thing actually slides. So if you want to slide it either way, you can. We have newspapers here to kind of like, in case you're shooting inside, you can cover up the, you know, the, the wood and all that. So everything was kind of thought out. I wanted to make sure for experience wise, you guys are getting the best that you guys can. This was uh, one of the best, Fun is built, I guess you can say. Just there's a lot of dimension to it. Like for example, we have like you know we put like grid and then we put a bunch of magazines like old school just to again just bring out give some texture to it. Uh, we want like a grunginess type of a look as far as painting it. It's, uh, same with the lettering. Shout out to my boy Jose for getting down on that. And then these posters, me and John did it. Um, yeah, just kind of, you know, slap some things around, just kind of make it a little grungy. Kind of how when you go to Brooklyn, it's, nothing's clean. Everything has an aesthetic to it. So that's what we were trying to go with. Um, and then, of course, we have, you know, the, the candy machines here that some of them in, in Brooklyn have. Of course, these do actually work. You could put a quarter in here if you're on set and if you're hungry, feel free to grab yourself some Skittles, some M&Ms. Everything's clean, you know, we cleaned it and everything. So yeah, that's pretty cool. This other spot now that I think was pretty dope was we added like a little cut. So this little style that we wanted to go with here, um, I did it in one of the promo videos that I released on my Instagram. But technically, if you wanted to shoot like a music video or a short film, right? You normally have an outside bodega, you normally have like a small little table and there's someone eating pizza or uh, they're playing dice or money's being related here or some you know some stuff so i feel like this just kind of gives it its own look uh it's pretty cool uh again just everything we, i wanted to just in, get the most out of it so this is another set tankly if you wanted to um i did forget to mention as far as the new stand this is movable so it is on wheels you can't you can't see the wheels because we wanted to make sure we hide the wheels so you can move this anywhere you want so if you want to move it facing this way. So if you're shooting coming outside the, the mini mart, that's gonna be there. So you don't have to worry about showing, you know, technically you're inside a studio. So there's just infinite ways. And I really want this to be movable. In case you wanna bring a car in, we could just move it to the side, bring the car in, have it in front of this whole space. So there's that. The other cool thing was the awning. Now we're going on to the mini mart style. So 
This awning is dope as hell. I felt like that was uh, the touch that we needed. Um, really, you know, I wanted to get into detail with this. I wanted to, if I'm not as satisfied shooting here, then I'm pretty sure other people are not either. So I wanted to make sure as far as for me as a shooter, uh, it looks dope and I would want to film here. So that was one of the textures I felt was cool as hell. And then we had to get the, the, the actual doors. Now they're a little shorter than, than others, but I mean, again, I don't think that's gonna matter too much. We might cover it up with some rubber to like really, you know, bring it closer to the ground. But again, these doors really provided the experience that I wanted to. I, before this, it was just flat black doors. Now there's actual, you know, uh, liquor store style mini mart uh, doors. So I think that's really gonna enhance this location. Last, so you're shooting from the outside inside, you know, you can. And then of course, you can always bring lights blasting in. So. It's just pretty cool. I think everything kind of like just connected. That's what we, I was trying to go for. Everything's just like one fluid scene. So if you're an artist or like you're shooting a short film, it's a lot of different ways to go about it. But if you're an artist, you could be performing. If you like, for example, this is one, I might just kill it because someone might take this idea, but the artist could be performing and he can have, there's a story that could be being told in the background as he's just performing. And there's a lot of things happening in the background. So there's just a lot of ways, like my mind hasn't wrapped around it. I haven't shot here yet, so that sucks. I'm pretty sure someone's gonna beat me to it. But now let's take you guys inside them anymore where I feel like this is gonna be like something dope that we just did. So now this is the mini mart. Uh, I think I already did a video, a YouTube video in the past, but now everything got improved as you guys can see. So. Everything you see in here, all RGB lights, everything is built in. So we had the Nanlite, two Nanlite 60Xs uh, operating on the top, which is the Pavo tubes. Right now we have this one like in a pinkish look just to kind of do color contrast with the blue inside the fridges. But we do have another one back there. We didn't turn it on, but there is another one back there if you want to make it flicker or whatever you want. These things have infinite effects. We all know Nanlite Pavo tubes gives you the best look. So there's that. And then today we did the uh, review on Instagram, but again, it's gonna be the, the fridges. They all have RGB built in size. You guys can see, it just looks dope. It's a lot of things you guys can do here as far as like, maybe you're an artist, you wanna perform, and you have that as a background, or if you have like products that you wanna reveal, you know, just think outside the box. You can put it inside the, the fridge, and then that could be like the pushing shot to kind of reveal the, the product. So, there's different ways to go about it. And these have every color you could think of. So many effects inside. We put LED strips on each one so you can control them separately or together. So I think that kind of just finalized and gave it the touch we wanted. We did get the, was a lot of those, the ice cream um, machine. I was thankful to be able to find this. So I think this was pretty cool. Again, just kind of adds more to the space. We're still bringing in more food, more props, like such as things like that, putting things on the wall. But for now, you know, I feel like it, it looks pretty cool to shoot in for the meantime, but probably within two days, I'll have everything fully built. I was able to come up with a ATM machine, which I think that was cool. Yeah, this is kind of like the whole rundown. Um, we also, pretty sure I showed you guys in the past, but now we got like the counter. Again, we, we're gonna fill this whole counter up by within two days from now. And we have a cool, I don't know if it's, we have a connector or not, but this one turns on. It's like an old school radio, or you can make it into a TV with the glitch effect. We all love that look. And just so you can, you know, of course, we might even put plexiglass here to, to enhance this a lot more. And for sure, more in the background, I'm trying to get the cigarette things, the displays. So that's, that's in the works. This is the Mini Mart. And yeah, so we could, I guess we can take it outside now. When you guys book this place, for the mini mart we will give you a tablet and you guys can control everything through the tablet so you guys have full creative control as far as your lighting choice and how you want your image to look so that's the cool thing so that's pretty much it guys this is the brooklyn style bodega the the shoot that i wanted to go for again just to kind of give it a full-on experience i wanted to just add more for myself that i like to shoot videos music videos uh, for sure i'll probably be doing a clothing brand in here I wanted to just give you guys an experience of some sort where like you guys can just, the ideas, there's so many different looks to get within this space here. So that was my whole goal when I was building this. How do I give you guys more? I asked myself, if I'm shooting here, can I make a whole video here? And yes, I answered my question for myself, I can. So if I can, I feel like anyone can. And I'm not saying it because it's my studio, but I am very picky when it comes to, you know, my music video, as you guys know, I'm all about getting the most, the most different scenes in a music video or in any type of video. I like to 
change it and keep adding things. So, so when you book this studio, it also comes with the money room. It comes with the arcade, the RGB wall. Uh, what else? I feel like there's more to it. Um, the tunnel, the futuristic tunnel, so many things. So, uh, and again, we still got one or two more sets we're gonna add on here. We had the speaker stage, but we only did that just to kind of get the studio up and running, but we're gonna swap that out. We're gonna make a whole room, two more rooms in this studio. It's about 6,000 square feet. We have the strip club in the front. This back one's gonna have two more sets. And once that's done, we'll be done for a while, but stay tuned on those. For now, this is the Brooklyn set, the bodega style. Again, if I'm missing anything and you guys are from Brooklyn, feel free to leave a comment below so I can add more things to it. I know we're still missing the lotto and all these other little things, but for the most part, you know, that, there's that. If you guys probably want me to make a podcast on the money and everything that we learned as far as building this, leave a comment below and most likely we're still gonna do that because I feel like it's very, that's something we can all learn as myself. I learned a lot. So anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.